after losing a son, a Gates couple found hope at a place many would not expect. Their son, RJ, died in February, and after leaving his graveside, they ended up in between a liquor store and a tattoo parlor. New at 11, a chance meeting that has brought new meaning to their lives. When we uh, were driving around that day, after we buried RJ, and after leaving his graveside, we were both lost, confused, and didn't really have any direction. That's when Richard and Kimberly Williams decided to memorialize their son by getting a tattoo at Altered Image on Elm Grove Road in Gates. I accidentally walked in them doors. In between the tattoo parlor and the liquor store was something you wouldn't expect to find, a church. He walked in the church. He walked in and they sat in a circle with us, just, just sat and listened to us. In fact, it says in John 15, apart from me, you can do nothing. It's here that they found peace. God has done something in their lives um, through a loss, through a tragedy. Shane Smith is the pastor at Church Radiant. I can't think of a better place to put a church. By being here, I think we're... We're trying to make it easy for people to come to church. We're trying to tell people that, hey, we're just like you are. We're everyday people. We're not perfect. The church opened about six weeks ago and has been growing ever since. But apart from his spirit, which empowers me, I can't do anything. I love the message that it sends, that we're not, that we're in the community. We're among you. And for the Williams family, it's been life-changing. I haven't been to church in 30 years, and I've been coming here ever since. And we're all a family here, and it's, like I said, I don't know where we'd be today if we didn't have the church. Church Radiant has already bought a building next door because they need the space. Pastor Shane is also starting a second service later this month. To find out more about Church Radiant in Gage.